Hello and welcome back to the Twisted League series. My name is Ingus and last episode we reached 1000 total level. In that episode I kind of realized that I don't want to be spending like 10 or 20 hours hunting for implings because let's be real that's just not fun. So instead I'm going to be moving forward with my account because to be honest the implings were always a side goal of the hunter. The main reason I wanted to do hunter was to get some chinchampas for range training later on. So no big deal, if we see an impling we'll catch it of course, but they're not going to be the main focus of the account. I know compared to other YouTubers it probably looks like I'm way behind, but I promise you I am just behind on the editing, I'm actually pretty far ahead in the Twisted Leagues. Not quite Dragon Cup I think, but I'm still getting up there, so I'm going to be pounding out these videos to catch you guys up to speed. So it looks like my girl Yuno is definitely taking all the... <laughs> All the implings so i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go hide in my hole but we're going back to the thieving chest i don't think i'm gonna get anything at this time of day but hey if you see a ninja impling come in the cc let me know i would love to pick one up because uh so far this hunter level has been pretty useless while i'm farming these weeds i may as well tell you about my other restricted pirate series it's a ports and islands only account and i just recently finished season two of the series so if you're new to my channel and you're looking for something to watch while you're grinding out Twisted Leagues, I'll put a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Oh, look at this champion ranging with the steel plate body. What a boss. Full Guthix, man, that, you, you gotta know that's my favorite set. Also, that Zami shield is pretty fly, not gonna lie. Bray, looking good. Overall, I, I think I'm gonna rate you a 10 out of 10. I'm sure many of you already know what I'm doing right now, but in case you didn't, I'm going to be thieving fruit stalls until 60 for thieving. That way we can go to the stone chest and get our Xerix talisman. Alright, we are now officially halfway to our thieving goal of level 60. <sighs> just been spamming these, spamming this stall, that's about it. Hey, hey, just got 60 HP fighting this <laughs> this damn dog <laughs> ah getting close to 60 defense too that's that'll be some nice points all right we're getting our first load of super compost 40 xp per bucket not too bad Ooh, that is some nice fashion scape right there i want to get one of those now it's awesome Alrighty there 55 thieving we're getting closer we're about 105k to level all right mr flippa what do you got for me Five rubies, all right. So I've been sitting here thieving, but I totally forgot that I have a 12 minute cooldown for farming runs. At least, I I think it's a 12 minute cooldown. I don't know, we're gonna go check right now. And it looks like they're ready. I guess I should have been doing some more of this earlier. That's for, that's for sure. Oh, those triple herbs too, I forgot about that. Hey, level 20 herb lore. Some fast herb lore XP as well. Okay, one more. Yes! 60 thieving, we are done! We're done with this fruit stall place. Let me just show you how many things I've thieved. I have them all bank. 75 strange fruits. We got 14 papayas. I mean, it's not a lot, but... But anyways, let's head over to the master farmer. Because I am so done with that fruit stall. Alright, 64 thieving. Here we go. Hey, finally, 64 thieving. We can be done with this place. Let us leave at once. Before we leave, I'm gonna go check the good old farm patch, see if we can plant one more thing before we head out. Here's a look at the seed tab. We got six Ranar seeds, pretty awesome. Uh, don't think I have much else of value, but still, um, we'll figure out what to do with these later. We're only 630 points till the next relic, so shouldn't take too long to get the stats up. All right, we are here at the stone chests in the town of Mulch. That happens a lot. You get teleported out. Man, this kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the stone chests. Apparently the Xeric Talisman is a one in 300 drop from these chests. And I'm gonna make a 
little hat here. Aha! Beautiful. Oh yes! A Ranar seed. Like of all the seeds you can get, that's probably my favorite one so far. For sure. Oh yes! I can actually craft this. Yes. Let the darkness flow through you. Oh, the last robe piece. Yes. Yes. Back to thieving. Waiting for my talisman. Oh, yes. A medium clue scroll. And it's the adamant one. You know what we're gonna do with that. We're just gonna keep on going and act like we saw nothing. No joke. This is two seconds after that last clip. Look, the other one is still on the floor. Wow. What do we got from this one? Vinery in the Great Core End. Well, realistically, I should just skip it. I'll just keep it. I'll keep it and we'll do it later because we're going to be able to do plenty of clue scrolls when I unlock my next relic. So the faster we do that, the faster we can get to some real clue scroll content. So until then, I'm just going to keep this in my inventory. Oh, we got it. I was almost not even paying attention and I saw it pop into my inventory. Woohoo, we got it, boys. We got it. Let's charge this baby up. Oh. Yes. Now. Let's go do this clue scroll right now. I don't even care. Let's, um, I don't think I've done a medium clue scroll yet. Wow, that literally took no, oh, that's a young impling. Please lockpick. Ah. Uh. So we are currently on step three of this medium clue scroll. No! Ah, dang it. That sucks, man. And here we are once again, back at the winter tot, getting that fire making XP. Three mil an hour, by the way. All right, there was kill number 30. Let's see if we can get anything from this supply crate. Oh, no. Uh, I had two willow seeds, I'll take it. Oh, there we go. Just hit 90 fire making. I know it's not that big of a of an achievement on this, but 90 fire making nonetheless, which means we got nine levels to go, and that's gonna be 92 fire making. Halfway there. We're halfway there, boys. Um, it's probably been like an hour. Maybe it's been like an hour and 20 minutes. Pretty chill, not gonna lie. I do not mind doing this whatsoever. Here, I'll show you guys a crate. I haven't been recording them because they're pretty terrible loot anyways, but just to show you guys what I've been getting. Here you go. Yeah, that, that, that sums up pretty much everything I've been getting. And there, we just got 30 construction, all from the Winter Toad. That is amazing. Thank you, Jagex. Another Bruma torch. Awesome. So awesome. And some mahogany seeds. You know where I can use those? Nowhere. Honestly, my fashion scape is doing pretty well now. I mean, that doesn't look half bad. I like the clash of green and then you got a little fire in the middle, you know? Mystic boots topping it off it makes me look like a wizard. I don't need no pyromancer. We don't need that sh- Wait a second. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. A Ranar seed. That is probably the best thing we have gotten since I started this grind again. Gosh. No way. Are you kidding me? Dude, yes. I've been waiting. Ah. All of that bad RNG, boys, has finally paid off. Jesus. I'm gonna skip a game because... I'm out of food, but let me just show you. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You know what this means, boys. This is a one in 1,000 drop rate. And it also just happens to be the best in slot for magic. So I am ecstatic right now. Okay, another chest and another mahogany seed that we can't use. All right, we're at 98 fire making. 
with one more game to go. Man, um, it sounds like a crazy grind in one video, but it actually has only been about three hours because we got the double artisan XP. Right now, we're at 500 points till the tier four. So hopefully we should be getting that after we're done. And here is the last winter talk crate for a long time. Oh, magic logs. Okay, I think those are our first magic logs. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. It means I don't have to get 75 wood cutting. As I said before, now that we've finished 99 fire making, the plan now is to get as many points as we possibly can so we can get that tier four relic. So I'm gonna be doing some random stuff basically, just getting some of my lower skills up to get some points and we'll go from there. Goodbye winter tote, I will never be there again. Also, if you didn't notice, I took some time to organize my bank. It's not super organized, but at least I got all the tabs in. And also check out that 50 burnt pages and of course the tomb of fire. Those will come in handy a lot later, but I'm pretty happy with that for now. Here it is boys. Welcome to the woodcutting guild. That will be another task complete. You know what? Let's just go um, claim our points. Oh, 350. That's right. Cause we just got the 99 fire making task and that was 250 points plus a hard task for another 100 points. Man, we are only 170 points till the next relic. Right now we have 17 oak planks, but um, I think I'm gonna make a few more. I wanna get some construction levels banked. I really wanna build the tool stores as well. So I'll probably just get a few planks, shouldn't take too long. So I am kind of assuming that 42 oak planks will be enough. I'm gonna build myself a nice kitchen. And I'm also gonna build myself a nice workshop. 10K coins, kinda sucks, but we need these, uh, we need to build these tools. 1200 construction experience, okay. So we'll need 44 for tool store four, but that's not a big deal. Right now, the most important part is this thing right here, this item, the glass blowing pipe. This will be very useful in about two minutes. Okay, guys, check out this experience drop. Look at this, 5,000 experience from one larder. And there is level 41 construction. Not particularly useful, but at least we got the level 40 for some good old league points. Yes. Oh yes, some gold ore. So it kind of seems pointless to be doing this right now, but there are probably a million other things I can be doing with my time right now. But in addition to the seaweed I'm collecting, I'm also kind of keeping my eye out for implings like the one you just saw. That way there's a really low chance of a young impling spawning so I can get my lock pick. But those are being hunted down like mad, I'm sure, because everyone needs one. I am sure that the chest is... I am sure that the stone chest is way better than doing this, but we also need a lock pick. So, you know, may as well just do this while I'm waiting looking around for implings. Okay, our seaweed has been collected. We have enough to use all these buckets of sand. But before we go use them, I wanna see what I have left on the easy task. Boys, no way. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Please. Uh, please, please, please. Please. Oh, he's turning around. Please, please mine. Please mine. Yes! Ah. Well, that was a rush like I've never had before in this mode. <laughs> okay, one of the tasks for the Koran Diary is to create a strength potion in the Koran pub. In the Lovakenj pub, excuse me. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna wait for my prayer to drop real quick. There's the point. Let's recharge our prayer at the altar. And there we go. The easy tasks for the Korand and Kebos area complete. All right, there we go. Rada's blessing. Awesome. And we got this nice and shiny antique lamp. Let's go ahead and use it on da -da 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 agility. Hmm. Four to five agility. 
Very cool. Oh, we can do that Hosidious River jump. That's nice. All right, I just realized I can claim some more points and that gave us 10 points. Awesome. So I think since I'm only like 100 points away, I'm gonna go get this defense level really quick and maybe a few more levels uh, just so we can unlock our tier four relic. There's 60 defense. I don't think that's enough points, but I'll, I'll, I'll just claim them right now. Yeah, I still need um, 60 more. What else can we train? All right, let's just bury this big bones and there is level 20 prayer. It's another 10 points, but still need another 50 too. I think I'm gonna go do some ranging real quick. Hey, 55 fletching. That means maple longbows and broad bolts. That's gonna be one of the best things we can make. All right, everyone, welcome to the fastest range experience in the game, at least uh, for these early levels it is. Uh-oh, we got a mysterious old man. FYI, I absolutely suck at these mazes, so. All right, boys, go ahead and place your bets on whatever the percentage you think it'll be. If you guess right, then I'll give you a gold star. Hey, hey, what do we get? 294 chaos runes and 32 mithril ore. That's that's pretty damn good. Those chaos runes though, that's that's really nice because if you if you just bought those in the shop, that would be 30k. Maze random coming in clutch. Hey, 20 range, boys. 20 range. Let's go ahead and just claim these points. It's not enough for 2500. Still got 40 left, but I think if we just go for 40 range get that up there we should be fine i don't know if you forgot already but we got a lot of chins to use ah oh, that teleport is so nice i am glad that i got that unlocked man aha here they are and they are packed and they are still packed oh this world's pretty good now i'm 20 range and i'm using bronze arrows so I have no idea if this is actually gonna be effective, but we'll most likely stay here since this is our Slayer task. But once we get that last 40, it'll be pretty smooth sailing. <laughs> Would you believe it? Our very first kill, I got a Mossy Key. That is the biggest troll I've ever seen. All of the, you know what? All of these people have the right idea. We're all safe spotting them. Bro, what is this? Another mossy key. I guess they're one in 50 when you're on a Slayer task. So, I mean, it makes sense. It, it makes a lot of sense why I'm getting them, but still, uh, I'm not used to it. So I don't even know why I'm picking these up. Actually, I just realized last night when we were doing some Mosh Giants, I actually hit base 20 stats. We might already be at the next relic. Uh, let's check it out. 20 more, come on. We're so close. Hey, hey, there's 40 range. That should mean that we can get another task. Let's see, let's see, oh, yes. Another relic, which one should we choose? I think we're gonna be going for treasure seeker because I want some freaking clues because you know I'm gonna get third age. So there we go, another relic unlocked. 